Hi there, this is Srikanth Asari. So in this lesson, we are going to uh, introduce ourselves to uh, C programming on uh, Turbo C IDE. Okay. So first, let me launch the IDE here. So this is the basic interface of uh, Turbo uh, C IDE. To be more specific, uh, it is a Turbo C++ here we are using. Okay. So if you want to know the uh, version details of your uh, IDE you are using, so IDE is nothing but the place where uh, uh, the programmer uh, writes his code and compiles and links and executes the program. Okay. So the full form of IDE is given as uh, Integrated Development IDE. Okay. So if you want to know the version current version of the IDE you are using, uh, you have to select uh, from the menu help and uh, about option here. Okay. So this gives you the details of uh, the version and the name and the year it has been designed and everything here. Okay. So it is Turbo C++ version 3.0 and it's designed in early 90s, uh, which is very ancient version. Okay. So still uh, many universities and affiliated colleges in at least in our country are still using uh, Turbo C++ for some reasons uh, to teach the students uh, basics of uh, C programming. Okay. So the idea should not matter uh, when you are uh, writing programs or learning uh, how to write programs. So you need to be more specific with the programming constructs. Okay. So whatever the idea uh, you are using. So whether you are using the older and older versions of Turbo C or more advanced versions of uh, Borland uh, uh, C++ compilers or Visual Studio Eclipse, there are lots of choices for a programmer or a student uh, to write his code. Okay, so some students also uh, develop the programs in Unix environment in uh, text editors like uh, Emacs and VI editors, or else some just prefer to write uh, in a uh, DOS prompt uh, editors which were designed in DOS prompt and tend to compile their programs on command prompt. Okay, so about that we will uh, look in uh, in a short uh, moment. We will look about that also. Okay, so first we have uh, the basic interface of our Turbo C IDE here. Okay, so it consists of just a uh, file with no name dot cpp here. So first always a good practice is to save the program. So so it's such that. Uh, so whatever uh, you, you write the program is saved in your disk of your uh, computer. So first in order to save a program, you need to select file, save or else you can simply do uh, F2. Okay. So after uh, doing F2, straight away you can uh, give some name to your program. So let's say hello dot C here. Okay. So dot C is the extension for all uh, C programs. Okay. So as soon as you see uh, uh, dot C at the end of your uh, program, which is known as extension. So you can think that uh, the source file is of type C. Okay, it's a C program. Okay, so then press enter. So it says that already it exists. Okay, so it's asking you to whether to, you have to overwrite it or uh, uh, no. Okay, so let's overwrite it. So already have created previously with the file with name hollow.c. So for that reason, it's showing it as uh, it's asking us to whether to overwrite or no. Okay, so let's select uh, S overwrite option. Okay, so here we have a plain uh, text file with hello.c extension here. So first every C program uh, begins with a header file. Okay, so first let me type the header file here. So header file is going to be like this, hash include stdio.h. There are a couple of header files which are very essential for every C program. One is stdio.h and the other one is conio.h here. Okay, so the header file is the one which starts with a pound or hash symbol it contains an include uh, keyword and then the name of the header file here okay so the, the sole purpose of header file is to uh, it specifies that uh, these uh, there are some reference to this header file is being used in the program okay so whenever you write the program you understand the need of header file such that uh, the library functions in a short way the header file is the one which which contains the code of all the library functions which have been uh, used in the program. Okay, So that is the in short way uh, the definition of an header file here. So the next most important uh, part is the main function here. Okay, So you will learn about functions in depth in the subsequent uh, lessons. So for the time being uh, you take a main function as the most important function for every C program uh, to compile 
So every function or else you can have the definition of main function like this. Every C program has one function or at least one function which is main function. Okay, The execution of the program or it is the entry point for the execution of any program. So even though you write uh, 10,000 lines of code, the execution begins at the main function. Okay. So now, uh, so in this very uh, simple and small program, since we are uh, just introducing ourselves to C program, let's write a small message such that it gets displayed in the output screen here. Okay. Let's write a small printf uh, using a printf function. Let's write a small message here. Hello, welcome to C. Okay. So printf is a function. So, which is defined in uh, the header file hash include stdio.h. Okay. So, here for that reason, we have specified the header file here. So, since we are using the function which is defined in this library, uh, this, this library function defined in this header file, so you need to specify at the beginning of your program. Okay. So, also header files are very essential when you are using uh, the math functions or string functions. You need to uh, specify the corresponding header file at the beginning, or else the compiler. Uh, gets confused and it will uh, throw you an error okay so here we have a small uh, statement using the printf function so in order to run your program so first you, are, you need to compile uh, your c program okay in order to compile you have to select the compile option from the menu or else uh, and click compile it gets compiled okay that means that the source code of uh, with dot c extension is converted into an object file okay so all these things are uh, internal details which will be handled uh, by the compiler the user or student need not worry about all these things he has to focus on his program or code okay so in order to run the program this we have we have compiled it in order to run the program so you can uh, go to run uh, uh, run option in the menu and select the run uh, run command here or else so here even though we are running our program so we are unable to view the output here okay so the output of this uh, tiny c program should be a, a message hello welcome to c okay so that is because uh, the output if you observe when i am pressing control f9 here or or from the run button if i am selecting a, or from the run option so if i am selecting the run command you just you observe that the screen gets uh, flickering here okay so it shows the flickering effect and it disappears okay so in order to make your output uh, constant uh, you need to have uh, have to add a function known as uh, get ch here okay so get ch then if you now run your program so it the output stays constant until you uh, give any input from the keyboard here okay so here i am pressing enter and uh, it goes back to the uh, c file c program okay so here the get ch if you don't have get ch okay if you don't have get ch in the program the only way to look into your program uh, is by selecting the alt and f5 here okay so in that way also you can see your output but the good programming practice is to have the get ch function which is nothing but a get character function so which is used to retrieve a character from the uh, keyboard or character input from the keyboard so it is defined in the header file conio.h here okay so the sole purpose is to make your output constant or else you can the until the output stays until you give any input from the keyboard okay so if you observe in the output here uh, as many times you run uh, the previous outputs is not getting clear here okay so for this purpose we have uh, uh, clr scr uh, which is a function to clear the screen so let me add that one to our program clr scr so if now if you run your program you just get the output of the uh, the current run okay the previous run the output from the previous runs uh, gets disappeared here okay so that is the sole purpose of clr scr uh, function which is used to uh, clear the screen so it has been written uh, or it has been defined under the header file code name okay so here we have uh, a total uh, two sorry three uh, predefined uh, library functions one is clr scr one the next one is printf which is used to print the message to the output screen and the next one is get ch which says stays makes the output screen uh, uh, stay until you give any input from the keyboard here okay apart from that we have uh, the main function so which is common function to every c program and also known as the entry point to the execution of the program okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, a simple c program in turbo c uh, id 
So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.